So in this video, we're going to look at calculating the percentage uncertainties uh, in different scenarios. Now, the first one will be to simply measure a line with a ruler and to calculate the percentage uncertainty of that measurement. The second one will be the percentage uncertainty of a given surface area that we've calculated. Number three, we're going to work out the percentage uncertainty of a volume that we've actually calculated, given the length, the width and the depth of the object. The fourth one will be the percentage uncertainty of adding two fluids or two volumes of different fluids together. And the last one will be the percentage uncertainty when we take a measurement of temperature using a thermometer. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the percentage uncertainty of a line using a ruler. Now, if you measure a line like we have on the slide here with our ruler, we're going to measure in millimeters. And if the percentage uncertainty is not given uh, with that measurement, then what we can assume is that at the start of the line that we measure with our ruler, there's actually half a unit error either side of the start point. So that might be plus 0.5 millimeters or minus 0.5 millimeters either side of the start of the line here on the left. Now, there's also a source of error or uncertainty, I guess we should say, at the end of the line. So that's also going to be plus or minus 0.5 millimeter. So it might just mean that the actual true value is plus 0.5 millimeter longer than the line or minus 0.5 millimeter shorter than the end of the line. So these two sources of error, we just add them together. And this means that in our measurements with our ruler, which is 10 millimeters, there's going to be a source of uncertainty of plus or minus one millimeter for that ruler. Now to convert this uh, plus or minus one millimeter uncertainty into a percentage uncertainty, it's quite simply the plus or minus uncertainty that we've got, which is plus or minus one millimeter divided by the actual measurement that we've made, which in this case, the black line is 10 millimeters times 100%. So if you go plus or minus one millimeter divided by our actual measurement, which is 10 millimeters times 100%, we're going to get plus or minus 10% uncertainty. So here we would say the measurement is 10 millimeters, and this is our black line that we've got here. And the percentage uncertainty is plus or minus 10%. Now we can also do the percentage uncertainty for a given area. Now, if we've got the length, which in this case is 17 millimeters, and we've got the width, which is nine millimeters, obviously we can work out the uh, surface area here. So it's just 17 times nine, and that will give us in millimeters squared. But if we're also given the plus or minus uncertainty for the length, which in this case might be plus or minus 1.2 millimeter, we can actually work out the percentage uncertainty for the length by going plus or minus 1.2 divided by the actual measurement of 17 times 100%. Now we can also work out the percentage uncertainty of the measurement for the width. So in this case, it's plus or minus 0.6 millimeters, and we're given that as the uncertainty in that measurement. So we would say plus or minus 0.6 divided by nine millimeters as the measurement times 100%. So just to show that again, the percentage uncertainty of the length is plus or minus 1.2, which is the actual uncertainty, divided by the measurement of 17 millimeters times 100%, and that will give you plus or minus 7.06% uncertainty. The width will be plus or minus 0.6 divided by the actual measurement of nine millimeters times 100%. And that gives us plus or minus 6.67% uncertainty. Now, obviously we do need to work out the area, which is 17 millimeters, which would be the length times nine millimeters, which is the width. And that will give us the area in millimeters squared. Then to work out the total percentage uncertainty for this given area, you add together the two percentage uncertainties, one for the length and one for the width. So if we were to work out the area, it would be nine times 17 millimeters, plus or minus the percentage uncertainty for the width, which would be 6.67, added to the percentage uncertainty for the length, which was 7.06. So we're gonna add 6.67 circled in red, with 7.06 circled again in red on the right. 
we work out the area, which is 153 millimeters squared, and it's plus or minus the two percentage uncertainties added together, which is plus or minus 13.73%. So the key to the percentage uncertainty for a given area is to work out the percentage uncertainty for the length, work out the percentage uncertainty separately for the width, and add them both together to get plus or minus that percentage uncertainty. Now, if we take this one step further, we can work out the percent percentage uncertainty for a volume. So I'm going to use the same values that we had earlier. So we're going to have nine millimeters for the width, plus or minus 0.6 millimeters as our uncertainty in the measurement. We're going to have 17 millimeters, plus or minus 1.2 millimeters as the uncertainty there in red. But this time we've got the depth, which is 11 millimeters, and the uncertainty in that measurement is plus or minus 0.8 millimeter. So what we're going to do is to start with, we're going to work out the percentage uncertainty for the width here. So it's plus or minus 0.6 divided by the measurement, which is nine times 100%. We do the same for the length. So we work out the percentage, plus or minus percentage uncertainty for the length. So that will be plus or minus 1.2 divided by 17 millimeters, which is the measurement times 100%. And then this time we're going to do the same for the depth. So this will be plus or minus 0.8 divided by the measurement, which is 11, 11 millimeters times 100%. And then we simply add together the three percentage uncertainties to get plus or minus the total percentage uncertainty. So to work out the volume of this um, shape, we're gonna go the width times the length times the depth. And then we're gonna to add together the percentage uncertainties for the width, the length, and the depth. So the volume would be nine millimeters times 17 millimeters times 11 millimeters deep. That gives us 1,683 millimeters cubed. We're gonna to add together the percentage uncertainties for the width, the length, and the depth. So the length then is, as we said, plus or minus 1.2 divided by 17 times 100. That gives us plus or minus 7.06. If we do the same with the width, we get plus or minus 6.67. And then for the depth, we're going to get plus or minus 0.8 divided by 11 times 100, which is plus or minus 7.27%. We need to add these three percentage uncertainties together. So if we add 7.27 with 7.06 with 6.67, we're going to get the volume, which we know is 1,683 millimeter cubed, plus or minus 21% uncertainty, because we've added the three different percentage uncertainties together, one for the width, one for the length, and one for the depth. Okay, this time we're gonna work out the percentage uncertainty for uh, adding together two different volumes, maybe of two liquids that we add together. Now, because we're not actually calculating the volume here of like a cube or some sort of shape, what we're doing is just taking two fluids and adding them together, it's slightly different. So if we've got uh, one volume, for example, 9.1 millimeter cubed of liquid, we might be given the um, uncertainty in millimeter cubed. So it might be plus or minus 1.1 millimeter cubed in the measurement. We might have a second fluid that we're going to add to, and that might be 5.2 millimeter cubed. And we'll also be given the error, the error or the uncertainty there, which might be plus or minus 0.6 millimeter cubed in that measurement. So if we actually think about this, the first liquid on the left, if that's 9.1 millimeter cubed, the maximum volume that we'd have with the uncertainty in it would be 9.1 plus 1.1, and that would give us 10.2 millimeter cubed. Now, if we added that to the second fluid, uh, the maximum that we'd have for the second fluid is 5.2 plus 0.6 as the uncertainty, that would give us 5.8. So the maximum volume that we could have in this case would be 16 millimeter cubed. So if we actually take these two and add them together, we'd get 14.3 millimeter cubed. But remember, there's plus or minus 1.1 millimeter cubed from the first fluid, and there's plus or minus 0.6 millimeter cubed from the second fluid. So in this case, what we have to do is just 
add together the two maximum uncertainties and also have we're going to have the minimum uncertainty which is minus that value so the volume would be 14.3 millimeter cubed plus or minus 1.7 millimeter cubed that's the uncertainty now we said earlier 10.2 10 plus 5.8 would be 16 millimeter cubed so 14.3 on the right here plus 1.7 would give us 16 millimeter cubed okay that would be the absolute upper value but we actually might want this as a percentage uncertainty not just plus or minus 1.7 millimeter cubed so again it's exactly what we did before it's the actual measurement that we've got which is 14.3 millimeter cubed and that's going to be plus or minus 1.7 which is our uncertainty divided by our measurements of 14.3 millimeter cubed because that's the new volume by adding the two liquids liquids together times 100 percent so here the volume is 14.3 millimeter cubed by adding the two volumes together plus or minus 11.9 percent uncertainty so we could write that here on the right hand side as 14.3 plus or minus 11.9 percent as the uncertainty now one more example we could uh, do is the percentage uncertainty for measuring the temperature in degrees celsius with a thermometer so if we take this example on the picture we can see that the mercury uh, gives us a reading of 36.6 .6 degrees celsius so we can see at that at the bottom here it's 36.6 degrees celsius now this is a little bit different from measuring a line with a ruler because actually there's only one point of uncertainty here which is where the mercury rises up the little glass tube we're not measuring two ends of the mercury like we did with the ruler so in this case it's just the measurement plus or minus half of a unit so we know the unit is one degree celsius and just like the millimeter it was half a millimeter so in this case it, the percentage uncertainty will be plus or minus the uncertainty which is 0 0.5 divided by the measurement which is 36.6 .6, times 100 percent and that will give us a percentage uncertainty of plus or minus 1.37 percent so it would be 36.6 as our measurement plus or minus 1.37 percent uncertainty okay if that video was useful please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, there'll be more math videos to follow